Wow, there's a lot of interesting stories. Um, we live in Oyster Bay. David Carl, who fought in one of New York's first colored regiments from the United States Colored Troops of the Civil War. Uh, we live there. It's been in our families for 150 years. So it's 150 ongoing years that a family has stayed in this area wow. on the land that was purchased from $200 in 1863, yes, wow. and um, currently we're going through a lot of renovations with the house and the property. Um, Is the house here somewhere? Um, some of it you can see, but not a whole bunch. Well, actually, here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, this is Vanessa Williams's grandparents, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, her grandmother and my grandfather were sister and brother. Mm. Um, but that picture was taken right in front of the house where they used to, well, not in front of the house, but the horsing stables where they used to be. Vanessa so Williams, have, the actress, former Miss America. Oh. See if I could see any resemblance. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and these over here? These are Frank Carl's sister's children right here. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, these are all pictures that were taken in Long Island near the, on the beach. Mm -hmm. She was one of the other um, Cotton Club dancers that's buried right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these folks. Okay, like I said, we all have a story to tell. They initially worked as Pullman porters here mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. And they were constantly going out, out west to do um, different, I don't know if it was acting, but different uh, things that had to do with the western because they were part of the Native American, oh. you know, um, ancestry on that side. And they also grew up in the same compound. Oh, yeah. So the whole family. The whole family. So we have a lot of... This is David Carl. <laughs> oh, he's the one that purchased these. Yes, he fought wow. in the United States, the 26th Regiment out of New York. Wow. Is this, a, is this from the Civil War? Civil yes. War? Wow. And this flag is draped over his leg. Oh. And it took him 12 years to receive his pension from the war. 12 years. Wow. Mm-hmm. He fought hard to receive it, and he did. Mm. You know, so he left a legacy for his family, mm -hmm. for his children, for his grandchildren, mm -hmm. and great great grandchildren. I mean, mm. we're still here. Mm. You know, and um, hopefully, my son will be able to enjoy the same feelings and love that we felt when we were children.